Hello everyone, Spark NLP for Healthcare 3.2 is released August 16, which is yesterday. In this release, we want to introduce a new annotator, which we call Santos Chunk and Balance. As you know, in Spark NLP, we have several entity resolution pipelines that you can convert your clinical entities into certain uh, medical terminologies like ICD 10 CM, SNOMED, RxNorm, etc. So we used to use sentence birth embeddings to resolve any clinical entities into these resolutions that we trained by augmenting the base terminology data sets. So what we usually do is we extract the entities with Spark NLP in named entity recognition, and then given the type of the entities, we fit the chunk to the resolver. For example, if you want to get the CPT code of the CT, like a, a computer tomography, we, we, we can send this to the CPT resolver to get the code. But the problem is that if uh, there are different, uh, the code of the resolution will change given the granularity of the context that you fit to the resolver. For example, in this example, if you fit CT, like a computer tomography to the CPT resolver, you will end up with this code as I show with my cursor. So it, it, it stands for computer tomography procedure, which is a very broad term. But in this case, we usually want to get the CPT code for uh, much informative chunks, which is CT of abdomen. So if you just fit the CT, we used to fit the CT before uh, to the resolver, and then we used to suggest our users to find the relevant body part or relevant clinical entity and then merge them on the fly and then send to resolver as i show on the second row as you can see if i get ct of abdomen like finding the ct as a test abdomen is a body part with the clinical NER pipelines and then merge them on the fly and send to the resolver so you will get to have more informative results like computer demography abdomen the code will be different than the broad one so now, this becomes a, a, a little bit uh, non-trivial for some users, so we decided to develop another annotator uh, which would fit the entire context of the sentence inside the chunk by averaging. So that's why we call sentence chunk embeddings. In this annotator, we basically get the average of the chunk embeddings and the sentence embeddings and sent to the resolver. In that case, even if you sent the one chunk, like just CT, in this case, let's say that I have one sentence, there's a benign tumor in his right adrenal shown by CT from his abdomen. So in this case, for example, if I uh, just extract CT and get the embeddings with the new embeddings, sentence chunk embeddings, that uh, this annotator will calculate the sentence embeddings of CT at first, and then the entire sentence, and then average them given the chunk weight. 0 0.5 means that uh, just uh, get the simple average. If this is if this becomes 1.0, do not get the sentence chunk. Uh, do not get the sentence content. Just look at the chunk it means. So you can play with this parameter. But we suggest to skip this by 0.5. Anyway, so in this example, our NER pipeline extract the CT as a test and sent to CPT resolver. And without even looking at the abdomen, since the new chunk embeddings will have the entire sentence plus CT, uh, the resolution will be more, more informative. As you can see, now I am I am I am trying to get the resolution of chunk of CT. Now it returns to computer tomography abdomen, which I would like to see at the end. If I set this to one. Okay, in the next example, if I set the chunk weight to one, which means that do not look the entire context, return the chunk embeddings with expert embeddings. In that case, you will get this computer tomography as a resolution, which is very broad. And right now, the resolution misses the body part, which would be more informative. So if you want to do this with uh, another example, let's say that we want to uh, get a uh, like extraction of kist in kidney. So uh, entity would be extraction of kist, right? So if you feed this procedure to the CPT resolver, you will end up with uh, decoration like decortification of cyst of kidney. So as, as as you see, even if my chunk had no idea about the kidney, 
since we average them, the entire sentence, entire context, and the chunk itself, right now, it's it's a result to the right terminology. So if we set this to one, which means that do not look at the sentence content, in this case, you will just get some very broad term related to kissed. Okay, so you can apply this to any other resolver that we have in Spark Anatomy. For example, ICD-10. If we, if I want to extract the oncological terms from with NER and then try to get ICD-10 code, let's say that I want to get the ICD-10 code of benign tumor. So as you know, the ICD-10 code of benign tumor and benign tumor on the adrenal gland, gland is different. Uh, I I would like to see. If I would be able to do, uh, uh, if I would be accomplish this. So if I just set one without averaging, just look at the benign tumor. So it's going to return benign neoplasm as a first uh, resolution. Okay. So because it only looked the chunk itself. Then I set this chunk weight to 0 0.5. Now it's it's supposed to see the entire context. So I would like to see something benign tumor as well as adrenal. Okay, so when I do this, even if I fit the benign tumor, right now the embeddings of benign tumor is also impacted by the context of the entire sentence. Now I'm going to get this resolution as the first result, which is benign neoplasm no on unspecified adrenal gland. So as you can see, right now uh, this approach is giving a nice boost in terms of resolution accuracy, which you don't need to, uh, which you used to need to merge to the chunks on the fly uh, to make sure that you feed the more informative chunks to your resolver. So we released the notebook as well, which you can check under the Spark NLP workshop, tutorials and certification folder. There's a healthcare folder under certification, which we usually use for every uh, new features. So please go ahead and check this out and let us know what you think and if it helps you or, or give some feedbacks. Thank you.